What up, it's your girl Mana, and today I am going to be doing a look that I never do. I don't do grunge looks. If I do something dark, it's just on my eyes. It's not an eye and a lip combo, but I want to try something new today, so I'm going to be doing a darker look. If you want to hang out while I do that, then let's just get to it. It is very early in the morning, hence why my voice is so deep. Who else has a deep voice in the morning? Comment and let me know. I guess I should do this with new products. I got this PR kit in from Revlon, and it's got a highlighter in here, which I'm sure I can use. Prismatic Bronze. This is a shimmer highlight, obviously. These foundations, I'm not, mm -mm, I like, no, no. I'm gonna show you in a second. This is Sunlit Glow and this is Twilight Beam. Thank you very much, Revlon, for those. These are the two dark colors in the Revlon Photo Ready Candid Foundation. We have Mocha on your right hand side and then Espresso on the left. Big huge jump between the two of these. This is gonna be too dark and this is gonna be too light. I guess I can mix them. It's a natural finish, which I don't like, but let's just see. Just in case you have them, plan on getting them or whatever. And I have my Bluetooth earpiece in because I'm listening to a podcast. I love listening to a podcast. I love beginning my morning with positivity so i just finished doing my morning devotion where i sit and read the word listen to worship and that kind of thing i've already done my skincare let's go on a ride together and let's use the perfecting and smoothing primer here we go i want to focus on the, the middle part of my face it literally just feels like it feels like skincare it feels like i'm putting on some sort of moisturizer. This particular primer is supposed to immediately improve the look of dull, uneven skin while reducing the appearance of lines and wrinkles over time. Okay, okay, so this one is hydrating. It's infused with vitamin B5 and hyaluronic acid. Well, that is definitely hydrating, so that's nice. It's a nice feeling. All right, here is the Natural Finish Photo Ready Candid in the color 560, which we know is already way Ooh, wow, that is contour dark, okay? But the only other color is 550. And look at this one, this is neutral. Look how gray that is, that's neutral. This even looks neutral too. Let's mix these together. <sighs> There's no red in here. Well, I am neutral, I suppose. Comment and let me know, do you mix your foundations? I don't have to do that. I just wear one. I forgot I wanted to color correct. One second, let's color correct. This is the Ruby Kisses Color Corrector in the color orange. So you wanna color correct if you have dark areas on your face so that when you put on your foundation, you don't see that darkness through the foundation. It just evens everything out. It evens out the skin tone. Of course, it looks strange. It looks really weird to have this orange concealer on me, but it's gonna make a difference when I put the foundation on top of it. And if you use a full coverage foundation, it really shouldn't show that you have orange beneath it. So now, as I'm talking to you, I'm thinking, wait a minute, this isn't a, a natural finish. I shouldn't have used, I like, no, what? Natural finish ain't gonna go with color correct. Mm -mm. That took a lot. I haven't done this in a while. <laughs> what is going on? Because what happens is if you don't color correct and you put your foundation on and the, the either the foundation is not full coverage enough or the dark spot is too dark, you'll still see it underneath your foundation. And to me, I would just prefer to have a clean, even canvas. And that's where color correcting comes in. Okay. I'm nervous about using this. Ooh. Well. <sighs> This is looking really dark. Uh -uh. Now, since I color corrected, I'm not going to be wiping the foundation on. Just I like to pat it on with a flat kabuki. That is just what I like to do. This is not working out for me. Oh, God. Okay. The problem with this is the color is off. I'm still seeing the orange beneath this. It's not covering it, and I'm not putting a lot. And it's, it's way too neutral. Do you see that? It's just far too neutral like that's just not gonna work oh my gosh <gasps> no oh no. No, 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 no no oh heck no okay the foundations don't work for me then there's this candid glow one moisture glow the color is completely off apparently it's sheer enough that it could still work but i don't do light coverage this is light buildable i don't do either of those <laughs> I do buildable, but I do full coverage straight out the gate. I don't do uh, light anything. It's not going to work for me. I will try out these shimmer highlighters to see what that's talking about later. And let's color correct and get this foundation on and then move on because already I've been sitting here for 20 minutes. This is the full coverage matte foundation. This is NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop in the color Deep Cool. My undertone is neutral, but cool has been working for me lately. Concealer Morphe. This is C4.35. And this is a Morphe sponge. I'm starting on the edge because I want the front to dry a little bit more. 
this is so smooth the coverage is so bomb this is one of my favorite concealers nine dollars i had to get over that because i was so used to la girl but this is really good i remember back in the day i used to do my eyes first before i did my foundation and then I was watching videos by Rennie Vasquez. He's a celebrity makeup artist and teacher in makeup. And he was doing this lady's face and it was coming out so good. And I was like, wait, he always does skin first. I need to do that. So I literally sat there and was like, I'm changing my makeup routine tomorrow. <laughs> it's happening. And from that day on, I've done skin first and I just love it. It's just, it's like a thing. Wow, my under eye looks really good. Oh yeah. Ooh, did I take too much? <laughs> I can't remember if I need a lot of this or not. <laughs> I'm so irritated. What is going on? Uh, I could have gone a little lighter on this. <laughs> Yo, what are you using for contour right now? And do you ever put too much or too little? What, what, What's happening? So with this right here, I'm taking the, the spot on the sponge that doesn't have any product on it and tapping it so that there's no harsh line right here under my cheek. I do want there to be a contour, but I don't want it to be harsh per se. And now I'm gonna use Sasha Buttercup. This is an OG setting powder. And honestly, this looks so good that I don't even need to, but I'm just so used to it. So I'm gonna set my under eye. Now this is just something that I do, and I like to take a face powder and put it on my forehead between the, where the line of demarcation is from my contour, my highlight. And right now I'm using the CoverGirl Matte Ambition Full Coverage Foundation and Powder Combination in the color Deep Cool 2. <laughs> So now I'll do my eyebrows using the Morphe Micro Brow, Pen Micro Brow Pencil in Java. And yes, I cut the end of my brow off on purpose. If you follow me on Instagram, you already know that. And that's because I like to create a higher arch. And now I'm priming my eye with Painterly Paint Pot. All right, so in my crease from the Rich and Life palette, let's see, I'm gonna go with Brown Sugar. You know, I had a lot of fun with this palette I made. I created, I think, three different looks on my IGTV. So if you're on Instagram, go and take a look. They're all in the bold series. It's a good brown. I wish I had more orange to it, but that's a good brown for the crease. I always start off my crease with something warm. It's not very warm. This is neutral. So let me see. I'm actually going to take some of this orange, literally, called Try Me. Let's go with that. And this is the color pure soul i'm gonna add some more warmth to this by taking no drama and this is irreplaceable now mixing star girl and irreplaceable and that's the black and the purple this black is not very black it's more it's more on the gray side which is not what i wanted but it's okay for now and now i'm gonna put my mascara on i like to do my mascara before i put on my lashes this is big ego from tarte all right so face powder now on the rest of my face this is just gonna help ensure that nothing looks too crazy that my highlight isn't too wild my face is set not looking greasy and this adds a little bit more coverage. And for eyeliner, I'm usually, I'm literally using this NYX. Remember these jumbo eye pencils? This is the color Black Bean. I just love it because it's so dark. And a key tip is to bring this onto the skin under your eye, because then when I blend it, it's gonna look like a smudged dark under, like under eye situation. And now let's bring some of this purple, like the deeper purples under my eye. And be careful because I'm rubbing the eyeshadow onto the eyeliner, which is under my eye. And now, <clears throat> some more of this black, the star girl, closer into the waterline. Okay, then in my tear duct, I'm gonna use a color from this palette as well, and this is called Perfection. It's a light, ooh, it's a creamy frost. I could use my finger to do this, but obviously the finger is just too big to put right here. This color is pretty. Yes, yes. Give them a run and I give them a run. I'm gonna do my bottom mascara in a second using Superhero. You know that that's what I always use. This one looks really pretty, the sunlit glow. I like the, like the design. It looks like sand dunes. That's cute. Wait, what? What? What is this? Why is there nothing coming out? You have to really work your brush into this in order to see it wow that's uh this is good for beginners so you don't accidentally take too much it's just very soft even when i do like this 
There's barely anything on my finger. What? And she's been with me for some time. She's always on her best behavior and I just love it. No, you know, spray and edge and any of that stuff you gotta worry about. I just lay down my edges and throw her on and call it a night. Under eye mascara, this is a cosmetic superhero. For my lip, I'm gonna use High Drama from MAC. A color like this really <laughs> makes my teeth look white. All right, girl, here's the finished look. I haven't done a dark look like this in so long. With the black hair and the black shirt, it is really looking very dark. What do you think about it? Give me a thumbs up, comment below. Do you like that I've done something that I don't do? Do you like a dark look? Do you normally like to wear dark looks like this like dark hair dark lip or either or what do you like to do comment and let me know if you have any other suggestions and let me know girl and of course make sure you are following me on Instagram because I'm on there all the time every day it's a whole lot of fun make sure you comment and subscribe make sure you hit the bell notification make sure you comment and subscribe hit the bell and as always I'm glad that you're here thanks for watching